So we moved all the chickens to our new ranch three doors down from our ranch. And we were getting ready to move the guardian dogs down there, but we thought we had till dusk to do it. And in the afternoon, in broad daylight, the chickens started getting attacked by coyotes. And we caught two coyotes in there. This one we caught in the act, and we thought she was okay, but it seems like she's not okay, so we're gonna put her closer to the house. Chickens are a super important part of the ecosystem here at Soa Heart Farm. As far as the soil goes, the soil is essentially just dust, and we need to build it up. And so the first step is bringing our chickens here to roam around and scratch, make good compost. It can help break down wood matter that's on the ground and plant matter that's on the ground that's super high in carbon. They keep the insect populations at bay and make balance. Right now there's just thousands of red ants and no other life in the soil. So they'll eat the red ants and bring some balance. So they do a lot of different things in the orchard as well as weed control. You don't need to spray Roundup when you have chickens because chickens love to eat weeds. They call it a salad bar, not weeds. This is springtime. The mama coyotes have a lot of pups and they're desperate for food. They're breastfeeding their pups. And so year over year, this is always the most intense time of the year for the predators. We really just have to have more human activity, more dogs, and let the coyotes know that this is not part of their territory anymore and they need to move on somewhere else. Coyotes are not bad, they're a good part of the ecosystem. They help keep things in check and they're the only predator that's actually done better inside of human development, whereas all other predators have done worse with human development. So we had to run home and get these guys. They usually sleep all day and they patrol at night, so we had the intention of bringing them over in the evening, but we had to bring them over in the daytime, and we haven't lost any more chickens as they're here. They're a little bit dirty because the irrigation is on and they're getting muddy, but these are the superheroes of Guardians. These are my great Pyrenees. This is Kaya, and this is Willie. We also have a couple of other great Pyrenees. This boy and girl, are awesome. She is a night princess. I'm not anti-coyote, but we do have to protect our livestock and I hope that coyotes will eat ground squirrels and rabbits and things that are detrimental to our farm and are indigenous to this area. So we have to do better at protecting our livestock. We have a new Pyrenees puppies and hopefully soon they'll be big enough to help their mom and their dad and their grandma protect the farm. is signs of spring on the farm. This is our great Pyrenees mama, Bella, and she just had a litter. Five of them survived. There was a few stillborns. We're not sure why. There was one that was deformed and the vet came and while well, this was all happening and they thought maybe the deformed baby slowed the process uh, to get the other ones out. And some of them had already had meconium in their sack and so they got poisoned in their sack. But we have four girls and one boy purebred Great Pyrenees. These are going to be guardian dogs. They're going to take care of chickens and goats and all types of different kinds of animals when they get big, just like their mama does. Well, their mama, since she had her first litter, she's not big on guardian. She wants to be a house dog now. We usually have puppies in the spring. Honestly, I don't know how she got pregnant. We had the boy dog on a completely different property, fenced in, and we had her on this property, and we thought we had done a good job of keeping everybody separate, 
they must have had some nighttime rendezvous that nobody knew about because she showed up pregnant at an odd time of year. <laughs> so Willie was a bad boy or she was a bad girl. Yeah, she was over here and he was all the way down the road at Bridge Street, but they found their way to each other. There's five little puppies. They're cute as can be here. And they're just about a week old today, I think. We're gonna go check on the baby puppies. It's their first day getting put in with Grandma Kaya to train them. And they're gonna be in with sheep and chickens and goats. So they get used to all the livestock and they start their training today as working dogs. We love our working dogs. We lost so many chickens, two goats to coyotes and so many cats and it's just really sad when you lose your beloved animals to the coyotes and we're so grateful for our guardian dogs and this is our first litter of guardian dogs here on the farm and all of them are staying here on Grand Avenue. They're going to other farms and so we're really excited that they're going to be close by to their brothers and sisters. We're keeping two of them for here because as our animal family grows our need for working dogs grows. We're just so grateful to this part of our family and let's go check on them and see how first day of training with Grandma Kaya is going. So today is the first day. The puppies have been vaccinated and they can be out here. This pen has baby sheep and chickens and goats and it's pretty large, um, So, but not big as like a whole orchard that we have sheep and chicken in, um, like four or five acres like other areas behind me. So this is a nice, I don't know, couple hundred square, couple thousand square feet. So they're in here and they're gonna learn about goats and chickens and baby sheep so they can learn to be guardians. Let's come introduce this guy to some baby sheep. So exciting. Oh, the sheep are already afraid. Come see. What do you, he's like, What's that? What are those things? I'm gonna run back inside and find my mom. Our first guardian dog, and she's amazing. She taught Bella and Willie how to be guardians, and now we have her in with these guys so she can teach these guys how to be guardians. She's an Anatolian and Pyrenees, so she's not quite as long-haired, and she does a little bit better in the heat. She's, uh, my kids say she has superpowers of taking care of baby animals. Yeah, she's the best. So the other night I came out here to check on Camila to see if the calf was born and it was not born yet. But I look over and right by where the pet cemetery was, there was a coyote and Kaya's just like, whoo, 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 like a night princess. She glides over, she barks at the coyote. She comes back and she sits herself down in front of the baby sheep. She's really, really smart. This year, we, she'd been spending a lot of time by the house and I thought maybe she's just over guardianing and but we didn't have any babies at that time. Two goats had babies on the same day. And that night I came out to check on the baby goats because we were helping them breastfeed the first couple of days and there she was sitting right in front of the goat pen. She just knows, she smells when there's babies that need to be protected and she's there. So we're putting her in here with all of these guys so that these guys can learn from her. And this is her first day meeting them because they've been in a pen by themselves till they got vaccinated for Parvo. Who's a good little puppy? Puppy update. Puppy update? Do we need a puppy update? Okay, puppy update. We ended up with five puppies in this litter because there was some deformed babies. Some other babies got stuck and were not able to get out, which you saw earlier in this video. Five babies, one boy, four girls, and we've just moved them out into this pasture. There's baby sheep, there's chickens here, and Kaya is in here to protect the baby sheep. And so Kaya is gonna also not let these guys hurt any chickens or hurt any baby sheep. And so this is a perfect stress test for these guys. They can get acclimated to taking care of animals and get acclimated to all of the livestock here on the farm. So update on the puppies. They're like seven weeks old. They're gonna get their shots next week. 
and they are in here with the farm animals learning to be guardians. These two both have collars on them, which means they're already claimed. Somebody already paid for them. This one is available if anybody wants it. It has no collar. Oh, okay, okay. Who's a good puppies? Who's a good puppies? Who's a good puppies? Kaya does not love being a nanny, but she is good at it, and she doesn't let them hurt any of the animals. She will flip them on their back in no time and let them know that is not okay. Um, these guys are gonna start in the next five weeks, go to their new homes. Basically from week seven to week 12, when they go to their new homes is the hardest. As they get bigger, they're very strong. And by the time they're 12 weeks, they're 50 or 60 pounds, which is the size of a full size other kind of dogs. But they are not easy to manage because they are so strong. This is the runt of the litter. Oh, my little girl. She was the baby that we thought almost was gonna die. She was the last one born. She was tiny. Oh, you got sprayed by a skunk too. Where did the skunk come from? Where did the skunk come from? There is nothing cuter than these little polar bears. Here's the update with the Great Pyrenees puppies here on Soa Heart Farm. Like, comment, subscribe for more homesteading, more baby animals, more food making tips here at Soa Heart Farm.